What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kid Vision. We are back with another video, a bit different one. Um, I'm going to be going over the Grammy nominations, making my predictions and explaining who I want to win. Um, it's that time of year. I'm going to also do my top 10 albums of the year and top 50 songs of the year in December. Uh, I love this time of year. I like talking about lists. Talking about music is one of my favorite things. Obviously, that's why I have the channel. So, Let's get into it. Um, this might be a pretty quick video just because I am not familiar with everything. I'm not going to act like I am, uh, but we're going to talk about what I know. All right. So we're going to do this and uh, we will look at the noms. So record of the year, the big one. We got Fortnite by Taylor Swift. Good Luck Babe by Chaperone. I just listened to that album. Uh, I was pleasantly surprised. I listened to it off off uh, camera. So, um, Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar. Birds of a Feather, Billie Eilish. 360, Charlie XEX. Espresso, Sabrina Carpenter, Texas Hold'em, Beyonce, and Now and Then, The Beatles. I haven't even heard Now and Then by The Beatles because I heard bad things about it. Um, I don't know how true that is, so... Uh, but I'm not going to pick that um, for that reason. I think Espresso had a huge moment. Like, that was everywhere. Um, not Like Us clearly is in the conversation. I'm going to say uh, Fortnite by Taylor Swift is going to end up winning, sadly. I think Fortnite's going to win. I want Not Like Us to win because I think it would be funny if, <laughs> you know... Kendrick has to win at least one Grammy. You know, he's probably going to do it at the Super Bowl. And also, Drake said, Kendrick just opened his mouth. Someone go hand him a Grammy right now. <laughs> and that would be so funny. You know? Oh, and it would just be devastating for Drake. I think that would be hilarious. Uh, you can go watch my reaction to that. I'm not too proud of that reaction, to be honest. Um, so I I think it's funny to look back on that. Because uh, I didn't know how big it was actually going to be at the time. But it was kind of just like a goofy song at first reaction, you know? it sound, The beat sounds goofy. He uses a lot of weird vocal inflections, you know? I didn't catch everything. So I love reminiscing on that reaction. But album of the year. <sighs> the Tortured Poets Department. I'm going to call it mid, bro. I listened to it. You know, I, I have been a fan of certain Taylor Swift songs in the past. It's not by any means what I listen to on like a daily basis. But I mean, this was mid compared to some of other Taylor Swift stuff. So I don't think that should win the Grammy, but I think it will. Um, I don't even need to see the other ones. Uh, Chaperone, that was a pretty good album. I would, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised. Hit me hard and soft. You can watch my reaction to that. Um, that was an amazing album. I thought very impressive, very mature album. Um, I've never listened to this by Jacob Collier. Brat by Charlie XCX. You can go watch my reactions to that. I covered the whole rollout. You know. That's what I'm rooting for. That's what I'm pulling for is Brat because that's definitely my most listened to album this year. Um, and it got nominated by so much. I hope it wins this big one. I don't think it will by any means. Um, but we got Short and Sweet by Sabrina Carpenter. Definitely deserves a nomination at least. Cowboy Carter by Beyonce. Definitely <laughs> deserves a nomination for the for the leap she took, the risk she took for, for country. Um, and then... <laughs> No way is this real, bro. Nuh-uh. New Blue Sun by Andre 3K. The Flute God. Um, That is hilarious that that got nominated. I don't know how it got nominated. It is so different and niche. Um, The fact it got nominated for one of the biggest albums of the year is just insane to me. I don't think, like, I respect this album. I respect the hell out of Andre 3K. But, bro, you never see, like, jazz albums nominated for this award. You, you never see, like, metal albums or, like, even rock albums nominated for this award. So how are you going to nominate an exclusively, like, flute, uh, <laughs> you know, like, meditation music for this award? Like, that is just kind of crazy. But whatever. I, I like seeing Andre 3K being nominated, though. I still don't know the difference between record of the year and song of the year. Um, <laughs> so 
let me know in the comments. I, I look it up every year and I always forget every year, but I'm, I feel like it's going to be most of the same things. Oh, shoot. There, there are some things that are different. Die with a smile, a bar song. I think Taylor Swift's going to win that one too. Um, I'm rooting for a bar song to win, bro. Like Shabuzi was everywhere. This song is still at the top. It has been dominating the second half of the year. And like, bro, it would be cool to see him win one. Because I think Kendrick's got to win at least one. Um, I was really torn between picking Not Like Us and Taylor Swift here. Um, but I will predict Taylor Swift to win. Um, and I want Shabuzi to win. Best new artist. This is also a big one. Um, Teddy Swims. Respect the hell out of Teddy Swims. Oh my god, the dude has a voice. Um, my dad even listens to Teddy Swims. And he's not like a big music guy, but like, you know, a lot of people showing respect for Teddy. Um, Shabuzi, I just mentioned him. Chaperone, I think could win. Ray, haven't listened to. Krongbin, haven't listened to. I'm sorry. Dochi. I listened to her album off stream on a run. Um, that was very surprising, uh, very pleasantly surprised. I think I gave it like a, a 7 out of 10. So it wasn't like my favorite thing in the world, but um, I was blown away by it nevertheless. Um, Sabrina Carpenter and Benson Boone. Benson Boone I really enjoy as well. Um, I think nobody would be surprised if Benson Boone won with that big song, but um, I think this could definitely go to Chaperone. I really want to see Shabuzi. It's tied, bro. It, Shabuzi or Dochi, I want to see win. Because Sabrina Carpenter, bro, she debuted in like 2014, bro. Like, I hate when they do that. They nominate new artists, but they've been grinding like in the underground for like years and years. And then they just blow up in a like... And then they're just considered new artists. I think that's kind of dumb. Um, but yeah, that's my take on that. Producer of the year, non-classical. We're going to have to look at the credits for this one. Daniel Nigro, Can't Catch Me, Hunger Games, Chaperone Stuff, uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, all right. Insane credits. I know who Mustard is. I don't have to read those. Um, Bob Marley. Oh, for the movie. That's cool. So he produced that. All right. Algorithm by Lucky Day. Wow. Uh, Lady Gaga, Bruno Mars. Wow, that's a big one. Usher. Wow. Victoria Monet. Wow. He, he's hitting all the bases. I think this uh, Dearnest guy is going to win. I think this Dearnest guy, I've never heard of his name before. But man, the credits on that, that's crazy. And he did uh, music for Star Wars, The Acolyte. That's crazy. Um, I want Mustard to win because I think I, you know, I've listened to Mustard's production for so many years, like well over a decade now. Um, it would be really cool to see him get his flowers. Um, but yeah, songwriter of the year, non-classical Ray, who writes his own music or her own music. I'm not familiar with this person, as you can tell. <laughs> so, um, Jesse Joe Dillon. Uh, Post Malone credits, Morgan Wallen credits, Edgar Barrera, Becky G and Carol G and Khalid. Wow. Okay. Um, I am conscious that I am probably pronouncing these names wrong, so I apologize. Amy Allen. I know I got that one right. Um, <laughs> Sabrina Carpenter, Justin Timberlake, Olivia Rodrigo. Damn. Those are all like songwriting intensive uh songs as well for jesse alexander we got yeah luke combs i don't really know many others there oh uh, i'm gonna predict amy allen probably we're gonna predict amy allen uh and that's probably who i want to win as well <laughs> so that's cool that's the first time that's happened uh best pop solo performance we got good luck babe Chapel Roan, Birds of the Feather, Billie Eilish, Apple, what the hell? That's not even one of my favorite songs on Brat, but whatever. Um, Espresso, Sabrina Carpenter, and Bodyguard by Beyonce. Um, I'm going to say I want Apple to win. 
Uh, I really need Charlie XCX to win at least one Grammy for Brad. Um, that would be awesome. I mean, I think Espresso should win, bro. Honestly, I'm torn. I want Charlie XCX to win this. But I think Espresso should win and will win. Best pop duo slash group performance. I always like this one. I think this is a really cool award. Die with a Smile. Would not be angry if that won. Um, I love that song. I think it was a great collab. The Boy Is Mine, Ariana Grande, and Brandy Monica. I... Oh, wait, I remember that song. It was kind of forgettable for me, though, <laughs> as you could tell. Um, guess what? Guess got nominated, bro. There were so many they could have picked off this album, and I'm glad they they picked Guess. What the heck? I thought they would pick the Lord one because that was like a bigger moment, I thought. Um, Levi's Jeans, Beyonce, Post Malone, yep. And Us by Gracie Abrams. I've been listening to a few of her songs. Like, it's really relaxing, like singer songwriter type of music. Um, I want Guess to win. Like, with a, a song with lyrics like that, that would be hilarious if it won a Grammy. Um, I think Die with a Smile will win, though. And I'm kind of looking forward to like a speech for that um, if they televise that. Um, best vocal. Oh, best pop vocal album. I expected to see Brat here, not gonna lie, but uh, Taylor Swift, I'm going to assume Taylor Swift is going to win this, um, even though I definitely don't agree with it. Um, ooh, Eternal Sunshine, that's kind of a new nomination I haven't talked about yet. Um, yeah, so uh, I, I respect this album. It's not like the greatest thing ever. I've never been like a big Ariana Grande fan, but... I respect it. She has pipes. She's very talented. I want I want Billie Eilish to win. Billie Eilish has to win one. Like, if not, you know, there's been times in the past where she's swept. I think this should go to Billie Eilish for sure. But I think Taylor Swift will will, will nab it. She'll she'll steal it. Uh Best Dance Electronic Recording. Here we go. Witchy Yo, I forgot about that song, not gonna lie, but that was on my uh, on-repeat playlist for a while. That's dope. Uh, Never Render? I don't think I've heard that. Leave Me Alone. I love- wait, whoa! Okay, Baby Keem? I mean, it's Fred again, but like, still, Baby Keem is nominated for an electronic <laughs> Grammy, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, loved by Fortet, not familiar, Disclosure, She's Gone, Dance On, not familiar. So, I mean, I want Witchy to win, uh, and I think, I mean, I don't really know any of these. I think Leave Me Alone will win because I, I heard about that from like many different sources. Like that got up there in the uh, in the mainstream. So I think Leave Me Alone will win. I'm totally fine with that winning actually. Um, but I will be pulling for Witchy probably because Childish Gambino, if you guys aren't familiar, bro, I just, oh, this is, I have Awaken My Love right there. Uh, I just got it for my birthday because my f um, my mom decided to get me it as a present because the concert was canceled. Apparently, his whole tour got canceled because he's going through, uh, he had like a surgery done or something. So, um, big, big Childish Gambino fan. I always have. Uh, but, yeah. Best dance pop recording. We got Got Me Started, Troy Savant. I am familiar with him. I'm not familiar with this song. <laughs> um, yes, and Ariana Grande. I don't remember this song specifically. When I listen to albums, guys, I listen to them like front to back. And if I'm not a big, big fan of the album, I don't come back to it. Uh, so that's why. <laughs> um, L'Amour de Ma Vie uh, by Billie Eilish. I liked this. Oh, the extended edit. Oh, that makes sense. Because there's dance. Yo, that's cool. You can go and watch my reaction to that. I had a crazy reaction to this. I love the end of that original song. Um, and that's why they made an extended. Um, Von Dutch. Yeah. I'm just living that life, Von Dutch. Um, Make You Mine by Madison Beer. That's cool. That's cool that Madison Beer was nominated. Uh, hats off to her. Uh, that's huge. Billie Eilish will win this one. And I want Von Dutch to win. Von Dutch is easily my most played out of all these, um, if not one of my most played songs of the year. 
Uh, best dance electronic album. Talos by Zed. Timeless K Trinata. That's cool that K Trinata's uh, nominated for a Grammy. Hats off to him. Uh, Hyper Drama by Justice. I'm not familiar. Three by Fortet. I'm not familiar with Fortet, guys. I'm sorry. And then Brat by Charlie XCX. So this is why it wasn't nominated for the pop album. Um, it's gotta win. Like, if Brad doesn't win this Grammy, I will be floored. Um, and I also want it to win. But it would be really cool to see K. Trinato win. Um, best remix recording. Von Dutch. There we go. Yo, Von Dutch itself, like just the song, could win multiple Grammys. That's cool. Uh, Joss sees them. Espresso. A bar song. Alter Ego. Okay. If Von Dutch wins the previous Grammy, I will not be sad if it loses this one. I want a bar song to win this. I really want Shibuzi to win at least one Grammy. Um, and I think it will. Actually, I think Espresso will win. Espresso is going to win. I want a bar song to win. Claro? What the hell? Claro fits into Alternative? Well, hell yeah. I love that album. I listened to that on one of my runs off camera uh, this year as well, and I really liked it. Uh, so I want Claro to win, and I think Claro will win. That's crazy. Is this the only Grammy nom she got? Because that's cr I would have never pinned her for that category. Um, here we go. Best R&B. SZA with Saturn. Made for me by Money Lung. Here we go, Coco Jones, Residuals, Chris Brown, jeez. Uh, Guidance, Janae Aiko. I've always been a fan of Janae. I don't think the Grammys would ever give Chris Brown a Grammy anymore. I don't know. I don't know. It's so late into his career. I mean, you could say the same about the Beatles and the Rolling Stones, but I mean, obviously Chris Brown is not to that legend status. Uh, <laughs> I think... SZA will win, and I want SZA to win because I love that song. Um, I have not listened to any of the other songs as much as Saturn. Not nearly as much. Um, best R&B song, I think. Sa same thing, guys. This is like almost the same thing. I want SZA to win, and I think SZA will win. All right. Uh, best progressive R&B album. Here's, a, here's the big one. Um, wow. Holy shit. This is, this is stacked for my music taste. No Worries got nominated. Hell yeah. I've been listening to that album on and off like the whole year since it came out. Uh, Crash by Kalani, who I respect. I love, I've love. i loved Kalani's work in the past. Uh, Bando Stone in the New World, Childish Gambino. I already talked about this in the video. I was supposed to go to that tour. Um, you can go watch my reaction to that. Um, en Route by Duran Bernard. Uh, not familiar with that, really. And then Avery Sunshine, who I'm not familiar with. I don't know how much Buzz Kalani has, really, right now. Um, I think No Worries is going to win this, but I want Childish... Actually, Childish Gambino has done decent at the Grammys in the past. I don't think this album deserves a Grammy, to be honest. I'll say it, despite being a big Childish Gambino fan. But I think it will win this, but I'll, I'll say... I also want it to win, <laughs> but I would not be sad if Voila! wins. Um, yeah, all right. Best R&B album. We got Usher, Lucky Day, Money Long, Lala Hathaway, and Chris Brown. Um, I think Usher will win this, and I kind of want Usher to win this <laughs> as well. Best rap performance. Here we go, guys. Finally, we're, we're to my genre that I know the most about. All right. Best rap performance, not like us. <laughs> yeah, glow. Like that. Kendrick getting two noms. Houdini, Nissan Altima by Dochi. When the sun shines again. Wow. By Common. That would be cool to see when, actually. And Enough by Cardi B. Um <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, I think Not Like Us is gonna win this. So there's Kendrick's Grammy. I'm finally predicting him to win. Um, and I kind of want it to win. I would also really like to see Like That win. And then I've been bumping Yeah Glow. I'm not going to lie. Like that might sound ridiculous. You know, like I'm a nerdy white guy bumping Yeah Glow. But I don't care. Don't discriminate. Uh, that's a banger. <laughs> 
Houdini, that song annoys me. Um, Dochi, that could win. I mean, I don't even know if that was one of my standout tracks that I picked when I listened to the album. Um, and then When the Sun Shines Again just kind of stands out from these. Common is definitely the artist nominated here who has like the longest career um, out of anybody. So, legend. Um, best melodic rap performance. We got 3 a.m. by Rhapsody and featuring Erica Badu. I remember that. Big Mama by Lotto. We Still Don't Trust You by Future. Spaghetti by Beyonce. And Kalani by Jordan. I want... We still don't trust you to win. Um, I think Future and Metro deserve at least one Grammy. That would get The Weeknd a Grammy too. And I know The Weeknd is the most streamed artist in the world. Um, so I think that one could win. But I think I think Future and Metro Boomin are going to win this. And I want them to win. But I would not be sad if Rhapsody won this. Best Rap Song. Which is basically the same except we got Carnival by Kanye Look how many people are credited on that. Um, and Asteroids by Rhapsody. Not Like Us is going to win, and I want it to win once again. But I would not be sad if like that one. I don't think Carnival deserves to win a Grammy. My God, um, I've listened to that a bunch, but is it Grammy worthy? No. Um, I'm surprised that got nominated. Uh, <laughs> best Rap Album. Here's the big one. Um, we Don't Trust You by Future Metro Boomin. The Death of Slim Shady by Eminem, Alligator Bites Never Heal by Dochi. Wow. Good for Dochi. Hell yeah. The Auditorium Volume 1 by Common. Wow. Dude, they're really giving him his flowers here. And then Might Delete Later by J. Cole. Oh my god. All right. So you can go watch my reaction to Might Delete Later. Um, I liked that album a lot, but critically acclaimed hell nah <laughs> people were talking so much shit about that and the death of slim shady was a massive letdown for me it would be really cool to see dochi win this but i want future and metro to win this and i think they also deserve it sadly i think the death of slim shady is going to win this i really hope it doesn't okay here we go best country solo uh chris stapleton it takes a woman uh, bar song by Shibuzi, um, The Architect, Casey Musgraves, I Am Not Okay, Jelly Roll, 16 Carriages, Beyonce. Wow. This is actually stacked. Um, it would be cool to see Chris Stapleton win a Grammy. I think Shibuzi will win this one, and I want Shibuzi to win this one. Um, Beyonce could definitely win, so I could see that happening, but my prediction is uh, Shibuzi. Actually, Jelly Roll had a, such a big year too, man. I don't know. That one's that's probably the hardest pick so far in this whole video. Best country duo performance: Post Malone and Morgan Wallen. You know, I actually listened to that song still. Um, I kind of trashed it a little bit in my reaction. You can go watch, uh, but I do like that song. It has grown on me now. Um, Bigger Houses, Break Mine, uh, Two Most Wanted, uh, and Cowboys Cry 2. I think Beyonce and Miley will win this, but I want I Had Some Help to win, we'll say. Best Country Song, basically the same thing. Uh, Texas Hold'em, I think is going to win. I Had Some Help, I Want to Win. Country Album, um, I Want Post Malone to win this. Um, and I think Beyonce will win uh, once again. Uh, you can go watch my F1 Trillion. Oh, wait, no, I didn't react to F1 Trillion on camera. That was on another run of mine. Uh, I think I gave it like a 7 out of 10, but a 9 out of 10 if you like country. Because <laughs> I'm not like a big country guy. Um, but I was really impressed by Post Malone. Best Latin? Do I know any of these? I mean, Caliuchis. Had a great album. I actually listened to that. Um, Shakira, Legend, Louis Fonzi, uh, and Anita. I'm not familiar with Kenny Garcia. Um, I want Callie Uchis. I, I never remember how to pronounce her name. I want Callie to win. And then I think Anita will win. Bad Bunny, J. Bell. And, uh, well, I think Bad Bunny is going to win this one. And I want J. Balvin to win. I know a little bit of uh, Latin music, guys, uh, so 
Latin rock or alternative album is crazy. Uh, I won't know any of that, though. Um, Mexicana album. Okay. I like Peso Pluma. I've liked what I've heard from him. So we'll predict him and pull for him as well. Um, won't know African music. Oh, Burna Boy, Thames. Oh, wait. I Okay, hold on. Um, Chris Brown, Free Train, Vito and Loje, Asake and Wizkid. I want Thames to win this. And I think Burna Boy would win. Or maybe Thames will win. I don't know. I'm torn on my prediction, but we'll pick Burna Boy. Um, comedy album. Yo, Trevor, Noah, Nikki Glazer, Jim Gaffigan, Dave Chappelle, and Ricky Gervais. Um, I think <coughs> Dave Chappelle will win this. And uh, I want Trevor Noah to win this. Or Nikki Glazer. I think Trevor Noah and Nikki Glazer are actually funny um dave chappelle i've never been a huge fan of but i can respect that he is th one of the best to ever do it um soundtrack yo shogun doom part two the color purple challengers and american fiction i loved american fiction yo yo that was such a good movie um but I can't rank this on just the movie. I think Shogun's soundtrack was pretty beautiful. Soundtrack, damn. I kind of want the Dune soundtrack to win. I love that movie. And then Shogun, uh, I think will win. Here we go. Finally, guys. Jeez. I thought they would have this at the top. This is what I was waiting for. <laughs> Best music video. All right. Fortnite won at the VMAs. And it pissed me off. Because I watched that music video and it was nothing even like out of the ordinary. Um, Not Like Us is a monumentous moment of the year. Uh, Houdini was actually a really... Houdini was actually a very well-made video. Um, 360, although it, out of these songs, I'd be rooting for that to win for a song. But I didn't think that music video was very creative um didn't catch my eye either uh taylor swift by asap rocky no way oh my god um did i react to this i think i did go watch my reaction to that it was hilarious bro i think it got blocked at first it might still be blocked shit um I want Taylor Swift by ASAP Rocky to win. That would be hilarious, especially because Taylor Swift is in the same category. Um, but I think Fortnite will win. Man, or Not Like Us. Not Like Us could win as well. Engineer. It, it is cool that they give like best engineered, best notes out. Like That's a big part of the process. All right. That was a long video. I'll try to edit that down, guys. Um, I'll probably cut out all the parts where I say I don't know much about the categories. Um, but yeah, um, I want to cut it off here. I've been recording for like 45 minutes, so we'll see how long this video is. But uh, let me know what you agreed with. Uh, who do you think will have the biggest year at the Grammys? Uh, at the very least, comment that. Um, but yeah, feel free to open a conversation with me in the comments. I'll read all of them. I'll reply to all of them, especially on discussion videos like this. But yeah, have a great rest of your week, guys. I am getting my wisdom teeth out, uh, tomorrow and I'll be recovering Friday. So I will try to get to some album reactions the, on the weekend. Uh, but you will probably not see me the next two days. Uh, but have a great rest of your week, guys. And I will see you this weekend for some more reactions. All right, peace.